Hello, everybody. I got some important announcements to make. On Monday, I will be debating Cyber Demon 531. The topics at hand will be Kyle Rittenhouse. It will be the murder of the Trump supporter in Portland, and then we'll see where it goes from there. I don't plan for it to be a little bit more than an hour. Um, I, I don't know how time sensitive uh, Andrea's time is, uh, but that's generally, you know, where we're going to be at. Uh, so yeah, that, it should be a lot of fun. Uh, with that being said, just a little bit of house, uh, housekeeping here, uh, please do not harass, bully, intimidate, be mean to this individual. It will not make me happy. Uh, it's not something that I support advocate for, uh, uh, endorse in any way, shape or form. This, my channel, this is an educational channel. It's uh, you know, it's a, it's a news channel. Um, I, I don't support that at all. I never have, and I never will, uh, bullying people and being mean to them on the internet is disgusting. Even if you know, you vehemently disagree with them. And, uh, that includes Andrea here, our cyber demon five, three, one, uh, please do not do that. Please, please, please do not do that. Uh, it's okay. If you want to you know travel to her channel, and you want to disagree with her, just please be respectful. I, I, I just, I do not support this, this junk at all. Never will. Anyone who says otherwise is a liar. And on that, on, on that note, uh, you know, there's been some really stupid comments made uh, about me, calling me some kind of secret racist, calling me some kind of hateful monster. Well, let me just say something really quick. And it was because of the language that I used describing, uh, you know, Black Lives Matter activists. I usually follow it up with thug because all throughout the country, a lot of individuals who are associated with Black Lives Matter, who have latched on to this movement, um, they have been engaged in, in heinous displays of violence and displays of bigotry and hatred that we have not seen in a long time. Now, this has nothing to do with anybody's specific skin color. The individuals that were allegedly murdered by Kyle Rittenhouse and who were, were subsequently shot, um, these individuals were not people of color. Their skin was awfully, uh, you know, it lacked melanin, uh, for, for lack of better words. And uh, I called them Black Lives Matter activist thugs because they, they are Black Lives Matter activists and they are violent thugs who were, who were engaged in thuggery. Um, again, I'm not, my, my content is for everybody. When I mean everybody, that's a literal statement. I mean everybody. Uh, you know, just ask all the individuals uh, from all over the world who are commenting on, you know, uh, stuff about mixers, stuff about like ROMs or emulators and, and you, know, uh, you know, some of the tech stuff. Uh, I answer all their questions. Uh, you know, they reach out to me on Discord. We, we, I help them out. And of course, I don't, my content is free for everyone. Of course, I ask for people's support on Subscribestar. Um, again, this is, not, this, this is not a hate channel. Uh, I'm not even, you know, people want to be like, oh, he's a GOP stooge. He's a, he's a partisan hack. Well, I'm not necessarily pro GOP or pro Republican. I'm pro Trump. And, uh, you know, it, it, and if he, if people really ask my, my opinion on the geo on the state of the GOP at the moment is not a positive one. Uh, large for, for the most part, most of these Republicans in Congress and Senate and all these local, uh, you know, Republican or conservative uh, uh, politicians all throughout the states that are experiencing violence, they have done a terrible job in my, estima in my estimation condemning racism, condemning the bigotry that is espoused by Black Lives Matter activists and by Antifa. Uh, I'm not. I'm not even trying to be like cheeky or be like, oh well, it's the wacky Democrats who are the real racists. None of that. The these activists have blatantly engage the public in, in a racist and bigoted manner that is not being called out. Now, we, we are led to believe by the modern left that racism is like the original sin of this nation and it's the plague on this world and rah, rah, rah. Well, when we have genuine displays of racism uh, espoused by members of Antifa, members of Black Lives Matter activists, uh, activism, uh, then all of a sudden, you know, they, they go completely quiet and it's really unfortunate that that's the case. Um, needless to say, uh, you know, people are allowed to have their own opinions and say whatever they want. It doesn't really bother me. Uh, but to suggest that I am in league with violent bigots, uh, violent racists is, is absolutely absurd. Uh, Black Lives Matter activists are generally violent. Uh, you know, it's, it's exhibited all throughout the United States. It's not a secret. Even by the former Vice President Joe Biden and his uh, vice presidential pick, Kamala Harris, have come out to condemn the violence and the rioting, uh, despite having advertised and, and, and published uh, links to bail funds that were meant to bail out violent rioters, which I think is, is insanely, uh, you know, uh, bizarre to me that, that these, that, 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 that 
the vice the the uh, a, a potential vice president and the potential president of the United States would advocately would advocate for and, and bail out violent criminals who are destroying people's businesses, destroying people's homes. Now, on the top, and also uh, uh, back to Andrea really quick. Uh, you know, I, I genuinely believe that this person believes what they're saying. Um, I'm, I'm, I, I believe she's making the claims that she's making in, in, in good faith, despite being wrong on some things. And we're going to hash that out in the, in the debate. Uh, and I also will be reaching out to the Yankee Marshall once again to try to debate him. Um, and again, everything I said about Andrea or Cyberdemon531, I'm going to apply to the Yankee Marshall. Please do not harass uh, you know, go after him, bully, or any of that nonsense. Uh, I obviously disagree with the Yankee Marshall. I, I genuinely believe he is a serial liar, and based on his own actions and words, he was engaged in some form of doxing against another content creator here on the platform. And people want to call me a hypocrite and dumb and all these things because I said, uh, uh, you know, that he should probably be banned for the actions that he engaged. He he defamed somebody making demonstrably untrue claims about them. Mr. Guns and Gear. He said Mr. Guns and Gear is pos- stolen Valor. He's got information that he's stolen Valor from a good source. And uh, those videos he made were deleted, by the way, by him. Um, you know, this is somebody who is a serial liar on the topic of Chaz, the, the Capitol Hill autonomous, uh, autonomous zone in Seattle. He is uh, dishonest and lying about the events that have been ongoing all throughout the country, more specifically Portland, Oregon. Um, and I would like to debate him on on Chaz, on Portland, and Mr. Guns and Gear. Uh, again, he says he's open to talk with anybody. I reached out to him on Instagram. I reached out to him on Twitter. I left YouTube comments. And apparently he's seen them. Uh, I think I'm one of the reasons why he ended up deleting some of these, uh, you know, some of the videos that were overly critical, unfairly, by the way, of Mr. Guns and Gear. This is an individual who's used to getting made fun of and just ratioed on his own YouTube channel on the, on the videos in the comment section. Uh, but as soon as a, a small handful of us came out to defend Mr. Guns and Gear, those videos end up getting removed. By the way, I archived them on BitChute, where uh, Silicon Valley tech censorship has no reach. Um, so uh, also on that topic, uh, unfortunately, I regret to admit this, uh, it doesn't feel good having to take an L here, but I did the best that I could. I didn't, uh, you know, take this sitting down, uh, but the, my appeal for the video that was taken down was rejected. Apparently they reviewed it, which I don't believe. And, um, you know, unfortunately the video is not going to come back up. The video uh, titled uh, Kyle Rittenhouse is being smeared by the lying press. You can find it on library. You can find it on BitChute. You can find it on minds.com. Of course, links are in the description. Please feel free to support. By the way, all my content is free. All my content is free. It's educational. It's informative. It's newsworthy. And uh, links are in the description. And, and, on, on, and on that note, please feel free to, uh, to, to support the channel. Of course, I got a subscribe star. There's a PayPal link and all that good stuff. Um, so, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so these things will be happening. I will be debating uh, Cyber Demon 531 on this coming Monday. And I will uh, hope to be able to engage in a cordial conversation with the Yankee Marshall. All the individuals that I will be interacting with, it will be respectful. It will be uh, hopefully informative. Um, hopefully, uh, you know, I'm not going to be, uh, I'm, I'm, this isn't my first rodeo. Uh, I'm not a stranger to debates. Uh, it'll probably be, it's these are going to be my first debates though on on online on on these types of platforms and in, in, in this format. Uh, so that it's it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Uh, and I also do plan to uh, get to have a uh, sit down with uh, Matt Christensen and, and talk about gun stuff, talk about politics. And uh, I'm obviously a fan of Matt Christensen. Please subscribe to him. If you haven't already, he's, he's it's awesome. Very talented content creator. Been watching him for years. Super cool dude. Uh, so, yeah, that, this is it. Again, just uh, be good, guys. Be respectful. And uh, I, I hope I hope you're having fun as much as I am. I got more videos coming up throughout the week. Uh, just gun-related stuff. Guns and stuff. Tool stuff. Uh, AR-15 stuff. Just really awesome. All right. Thank you. God bless. Peace.